Hey guys, Captain Demian here, and we are here to talk about, um, a weird card game I found. So, this is a card game hailing from, I think, around 1993. And I'm going to put some pictures up, but it's called Battle Cards. So let me show you a couple of these cards on here. Yeah, you can see some of the cards right here. They have really nice art, almost reminisce to um, like a Magic the Gathering type style. And these are called battle cards. Apparently there's a game really close to them called Fighting Fantasy I've never heard of. Um, this game originated in the UK and it came to America, I guess, is popular enough. I'm looking at Final Fight and Fantasy. Death Trap Dungeon Fight and Fantasy. Yeah, I don't know what these are. Um, but Battle Cards. So... the main battle mechanic on these cards. Let's say you and your friend want to play this. You guys would choose um you guys would choose a card. So let's say I want to go against someone I'm going to be like, hey, yo Salaman, let's go. I don't know if you just click one or if you just click I don't know. Choose your fighters. How many fighters do we click? I don't want to waste too many of these cards, but let's just say, I, li I like how Salamant looks. We're just going to go Barbarian, alright? So look, I have a Barbarian. This dude has a Iron Scale. So, like I said, really decent art. Dude has an Iron Scale. Alright, so I have a Penny, and basically... Basic combat rules, scratch and slay. They'd be like, hey, flip a coin. This would be heads, that would be tails. We got a heads. So a barbarian go first. Decide whether you play for any stakes. So it'd basically be like, hey, um, you know, if you win Iron Scale, I'll give you Salaman. But if Barbarian wins, I will give you. Iron or Spine Slayer. So now we have we have stakes. So we have that going. Barbarian's going first. On your turn, scratch off one of your opponent's body area spots. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So I have to scratch off one of the body area spots. Okay, so all throughout, let me bring you up close, you might not be able to see it, but all throughout here, we have arm, leg, arm, leg, and body, and then life, 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 purse. 
Now the purse comes in handy later. So I'm going to attack uh, attack one of his arms. So what you do is you scratch away. And it looks like I attacked his arm and there's no wound. It feels so weird to do these with cards. Like, it doesn't feel right, you know? So the other person would do the same thing. He'd be like, all right, well, I'm going to attack. I'm going to attack your head. And again, it's a miss. So it just goes back and forth. I'm just going to keep scratching off this one so I don't completely ruin two of them. I'm trying to find a wound so I can see what a wound looks like. just be too old. You know, there's a good chance that he could just be too old to play. <laughs> look at that, look at the purse. Huh. Would that be a thing though? I feel like... Okay, so okay, maybe the pen is just a bad move because I can see you can see right there. Let me zoom in some more. It's wounded right there. The red, the red dot. That's like a little red uh, life thing. Okay, so yeah, maybe, maybe I was just going too hard, because the number on here is popping up, 15, so this would be worth 15 cents. Alright, so, when you get two wounds... It means your character seriously injured. So you get two wounds, and you go up to your lives. So you have three lives. If you got the skull and crossbones, which you can kind of see right here, that means your character is dead. The first character to die is the dead character. So he would win the barbarian, and he'd get 15 gold, and he'd get like whatever other cards. And the gold is used to buy stuff at the trading post, which I don't know how that works. But this is just like the base of the game right here. So, all in all, I mean, it's kind of cool. It's like a game you can only play once type deal. Well, at least with, you know, your certain cards. Um, they did introduce new spells and stuff like that in later sets, which changed how the game worked, like different ways to play. So maybe in other videos we'll tackle how that works and stuff like that. 
other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. And Captain Denmeme out.